Hey guys, Crazy Sugoi here, back with another basic tutorial video. And for you guys that have been following along, you'll notice that I actually got the extended version of uh, the Viziri ship. So now I've got a little pocket sections here, referred to as T2 grids, where I can store my um, or place my storage rooms that will not affect the overall setup of my ship which is uh, a lot better. I've got nothing upgrading and our tournament is coming up soon. So that's pretty good. So just to get right into it, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the function of a few basic rooms that people are may not be familiar with, such as your fleet room, command room, your bridge, and so on and so forth, right? Your warehouse even, your laboratory, and uh, these little miniature bedrooms I'm going to be touching on just so you guys have a basic understanding of um, just what these rooms are for. Now, very first thing you want to do once you're able to in this game is you're going to want to join a fleet. And a fleet just is just a group of like-minded players that um, will help you and assist you while, you're play the, while you play this game so you can have a more smooth and efficient gaming experience right now once you uh, level up a bit i'm not exactly sure what level because it's been a while but around the lower levels you're going to be able to purchase this room from the shop right here it's going to be in yeah, let me uh make sure it's not in the support area. I think it's in the weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Nope. And defense, there it is in the defense tab. So your fleet council level one, you're gonna be able to purchase that around your lower levels as long um, as, as well as, I'm a little tongue tied, as well as your command room. And a few others so what this fleet room allows you to do once you place it on your ship you'll now be able to join a fleet which is i'm um, gonna over here my top right section this is my fleet here hydra which is um arguably the best fleet in the entire game right now now i'm in hydra 2 which is just a um, sister fleet of hydra but uh just as good and what you're going to want to do just so you can have a pure gaming experience is you're going to want to join one of the top 100 fleets in this game and uh, and the very least one of the top 200 just so you can have a very good gaming experience and you can have people that know what they're doing to help you out and uh, explain how the game works to you. Now once you have your fleet room you go ahead and select it you tap on fleet you tap on search it'll bring up a generic list of um, fleets and as you can see these are inactive they're very low um, member count four of a hundred three of a hundred and one of a hundred you don't want to join any of these at all you want to go ahead and um, if you're looking to enter into even Hydra 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 3 which is our entrance fleet you type Hydra in your search you see Hydra 3 right there and there's a lot of knockoff hydras out there, so you're gonna to want to look for the one with that little Asian symbol beside it, and it stops at three. So Hydra Four, that is not uh, that's not affiliated with us. That's just some random that tried copying. So Hydra Three, you would click on that, and in the let it load up here for a second. In the top right section here, where you see my haptic touches, um, that's gonna be where you're able to join the fleet from. You're gonna re require a minimum trophy count of 1600, and from that point, you're gonna to want to go over to the Discord which is a independent app, not associated, not associated with uh, Pixel Starships, but it's an independent app that allows you to talk to your fleet members because the in-game chat is a bit clunky. All right, um, right, moving forward. So that explains our fleet room. Now our command room, what this room allows you to do is the command room allows you to program AI codes into your crew members so that they automatically do what you would like them to do without you having to manually control them. So once you click on a crew, let me grab a random here, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pull them over here. So this is my Torah crew level 40. Go ahead and click on them. You see that little AI tab there? You click AI.
And all this bridge room is going to do is it allows you to escape from battles. So when you're in the midst of a fight, there's going to be an area at the top center of your screen right here that um, shows a percentage that you'll be able to escape the fight through. Your warehouse allows you to store um, extra items in your storage you can see that on your left side of the screen here in your item storage now i've got a 388 of 450 and the warehouse is a uh, is 400 of that the ship itself can only hold 50 items right now uh, moving forward and keep going on now, our laboratory is very important you're going to always want something to be running in your lab and here's why the lab boosts the things that you already have on your ship things such as your uh, missiles I've got most things already researched right now but as you can see my uh, hangar I never use my hangar so the hangar things are very um, very low leveled but it'll cost you either gas or minerals to get these items upgraded and they usually run you can see there are two days six hours three days one day 12 hour 18 hour two days six hours and Right now, my jungler missiles, which are level 6, are taking a 1 week, 12 hours to upgrade. So you can see that um, you definitely just want this thing running. Never leave it not running. Sell some things if you have to. Get the gas and have um, a research going in the lab anytime that you can. Right? Now, your bedrooms are pretty simple. Your bedrooms allow you to have more crew on your ship. So right now, you can see that right there, I have 23 of 23 crew on my ship. My bedrooms account for five of that, and my other little additional rooms give me more crew, such as my aquarium, which allows two, and my smaller bedrooms here, cryopod, oven, Xmas tree, um, car garage. Let me see here. My cat, my cat room. <laughs> I don't have a cat, but you know. And... Um, we're pretty close to Halloween, so they're going to be actually bringing back the graveyard room, which I'm going to be looking to get. So you guys make sure you have at least minimum 1500 V-Bucks on your account so you can purchase that when it comes around. All right. And unless I am missing anything right now, I really hope that I am not. <laughs> Let me take one final gander. Look at my uh, inbox, see if I have anything not in there. Okay, so if these little rooms here, the mineral storage rooms, now these just uh, mineral miner, these just, um, when you're outside of the game, they're just collectors, so you can come back after an hour or two and they'll have minerals for you to collect, and they're the same with um, the gas ones, only that it allows you to collect gas instead, right here. Right, you see, it takes five days, um, five days for me to upgrade this, but I never use them because I just fight for resources. Now, finally, last but not least, we have our um, bio room, our recycler. Now, just so I can show you the function of that, I'm gonna have to unlock one of my crew here. This little top left, unlock my alpaca, put it in my bag, and when I click on my bio room and I click recycle, now. Oof, everything is locked. Oh man, I really wish I had blended something. I'm not gonna blend my hero because that is just insanity. But this blender bio recycling room, this basically just allows you to um, recycle crew that you don't need into useful materials through their um, what's a currency referred to as DNA, right? And that's pretty much it for the um, a few basic rooms that the game never really gets around to explaining. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for sticking around. Take it easy, guys.